Different organisms go about reproducing in one of the two ways. One, you make more of yourself by yourself. This strategy is called asexual reproduction. Or two, a couple can team up and make a baby that is genetically different from both parents through sexual reproduction. So biologically, sex or sexual reproduction is exchange of genes. From liver flukes to mango trees, 99% of eukaryotic organisms reproduce sexually, at least most of the time. This is because creating an offspring with a slightly different genome helps the new generation stay one step ahead of pathogens. Our competitors are, if you are the pathogen itself, this form of reproduction will bring about the genetic variation which will help you be ahead of the host who is always trying to kick you out. To elaborate further, imagine a population of minions. Some minions may have a feature that helps them reproduce more successfully than individuals that lack this feature. Since they reproduce more successfully, the successful type comes to outnumber the incompetents after some number of generations until eventually they take over the entire population. In other words, features and behaviors that promote better survival and better reproduction tends to spread through the population. And all living things are trying to have offsprings which have better genes, which make sure that the blueprint of that individual will exist forever on this planet. But still, sexual reproduction is inconvenient and is completely skewed towards females. Why? Hold on, I will explain that when we talk about sex in the later part of this chapter. So, sex is really so complicated, then how come nearly all animals, a lot of plants and fungi on earth can do it? And if a lot of us can do it, then why aren't we talking about it enough? And why is it such a stigma to talk about sex? Anyway, we will get into why sexual reproduction is made naturally so difficult. A lot of organisms like amoeba don't take this trouble to find a mate to reproduce. They say, I'm self-sufficient, I don't need anybody for help, I can do it all by myself and hence undergo asexual reproduction. So, in Noah's Ark, he took only one amoeba 